Hi, it's Bridget, and welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I want to talk with you about a recent experience I had in a session. So I do private sessions, and this one was super unique. It's so cool when stuff comes through in session that I'm just like, wow, that's never happened before. I've been doing psychic work as a psychic and life coach, psychic life coach for uh, 15 years now. And this has not happened before. So let me tell you about it. So I talked to this woman that I have spoken to um, twice now. And the second time I connected with her in session, I saw two higher selves, two. So when I do session, I connect to your spirit. I basically channel your spirit. And when I talk to you, I say that I use the three terms interchangeably, intuition, your spirit, and your higher self. I use higher self, your spirit, and intuition, those three words, phrases, interchangeably in a session. Now, there is a little bit of a difference between those things, but for the sake of this conversation, let's just say that they're the same thing. So the higher self is like your spirit acting as a guide for you. That's why I point upward because when I see you, because remember I'm clairvoyant, which means I see psychically. So when I'm talking to you on the telephone, I don't have to actually see you. I can see you in like psychic sight. And so I see a higher version of you. I see your spirit. And oftentimes your spirit will look different than you look in person. You might look a lot younger. You might look a lot older. You might have different colored hair, different clothing styles, different colored eyes, all that. It just totally depends on how your spirit is presenting to me. And I usually will describe that to you right away in session. And then so that's what I utilize to connect, to get the information that I get. You, your higher self, your intuition, your spirit runs the session. So that's how other information comes in based upon what your higher self knows, your spirit knows, your soul, you know. You know, your soul knows what you need to hear, what you're ready to hear, what needs to come forward in order to promote your healing, in order to promote your best life, in order to, to really gift you the energy and the support that you deserve at the time that we're having session. So this time, this session, two higher selves. So I can't say that I saw that in the first session, but in the second session, it became really clear that she had two parts of her spirit. Now, that doesn't mean that there's any kind of uh, anything nefarious or anything evil going on doesn't mean that at all. It doesn't mean that she's broken or she has multiple personalities or anything like that. It just means that there's two versions of her spirit. And there's her here in this lifetime, who she is now, and a higher self version of that. And there's this beautiful higher self version of her, get this, from a previous lifetime. And I don't know if it's because all of a sudden I'm opening myself up to talking about the topics of past lives and reincarnation because we've talked about that a little bit. You know, I'm not a big fan of past lives because why? Because you got to be focusing on this lifetime because this is where the magic happens. This is where you get things done. This is where you need to be focused now and not do focus on the past. Don't look back. You're not going that way, right? So why is it such a big deal? What was so cool? So cool. I was like, oh my gosh, you have two higher selves. And so as we were talking and having this dialogue and things, it came up toward probably, we're probably at least halfway through the session and I was like, oh my gosh. And part of it is because she had some experiences with some trauma in this lifetime that also she experienced similar kinds of things in the previous lifetime that I can see the higher self for. So I was like, oh, this is really cool. This is crazy and cool. So. She has two higher selves. So fascinating. So I want to tell you that 
This goes to show that when you are working on your spiritual development, your intuition, your spiritual connection, whether you're taking classes, workshops about how to work with energy, or you're learning about chakras, or you're taking an intuition 101 class, or wh wherever you're at on the spiritual journey, whether you are already a psychic, working as a psychic, or you're a card reader or something like that, it doesn't matter where you're at. You always have the opportunity to learn and grow and expand through the experiences. That's how we learn, is experience. That's what human life is about, experience. You can't just learn stuff in a book. Somebody else can't just teach you. They need to present you with an opportunity to have the experience. And when you have the experience, then you learn and grow. So she and I are gonna be working together and doing some psychic coaching work into the new year to really unravel some of the the energies that are connecting both of these lifetimes for her so that she can have a sense of clarity about her life now even though she already has that she's quite quite a wonderful person and really easy to have i mean she's very likable let me just say <laughs> she's just such a cool i have the best clients they're so cool sometimes they're just amazing and she's super open to all of it because she knows like she's like i just know i know that i have this lifetime and i know that sounds crazy to some people she said but i know that you'll understand it and she was 100 percent right because as soon as we connected it even in our first session i'm like oh my gosh i know exact oh my gosh yes this is totally true like she's telling me about her past life and she's saying well i know this and i know that and da 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 but i i, I have I have some breaks in my memory and I'm not sure how what this means or how to how is this supposed to be helping me in my current life and I need some help with like the gaps and stuff I'm like totally fine because I could clearly see as soon as she like opened her mouth and started talking about some of these memories I was like oh my god I'm like right there doing my psychic stuff like you watch me do at above life channel here like when I'm channeling somebody else and so and then she and she was a, a famous person in an afterlife. So really easy, somebody that I, I know, I've talked to. So I knew right away, I'm like, oh my gosh. And the energy, her energy was like similar. Like there were two facets to the energy. They were like kind of a, they're multidimensional. It's fascinating, fascinating. So, so cool, you guys. So you see, you always learn new things. And even teachers are students. And in fact, the best teachers are students. They love learning and growth. And I mean, that's how I feel, I guess. I feel like uh, you shouldn't have session with me. You shouldn't watch Above Life Channel and just take everything I say as the right thing because it's not about right or wrong or what Bridget says or what somebody else says because they're an expert. Nobody is an expert on you except for you. You are, you have a higher self, an intuition, a spirit that guides you. You can use your own discernment to decide what information is accurate for you and what doesn't fit right now. Oftentimes when you have a psychic session, even through coaching, even when you're talking, like when I'm talking to people, you know, over and over again, and we're working through different things that are showing up in their, in their human life and, and shifting things at a, a spiritual or energetic level to just help support them with that. It's, there's always, there's always, always room for you to, um, how do I say this? I want to caution you to not just give your power away to anybody. I want you to, to be a strong advocate and ally for yourself and to trust yourself. So if something doesn't fit and you're in a session with somebody, tell them that. And it might just be that the timing isn't right, the alignment isn't right, or maybe you're just not ready to hear it right now, or maybe the information is off. Maybe it's about your best friend and not you. And that's okay, you guys. It's a, it doesn't mean, oh, the whole session's awful, or that person, that coach, or that psychic is bad, or anything like that. It just means there's not total alignment, but there never is total alignment with people. I mean, it's, there's always wiggle room. There's Everything's fluid, energy is fluid. So there's lots of opportunities for connection. Use your own discernment. Use your own discernment. You know what's best for you, 100%. Remember that. Start having some faith in yourself. And then talk to somebody like me, like a psychic life coach, to continue to support you and give you encouragement to keep being yourself and believing in yourself and trusting yourself. Wouldn't that be awesome? 
So that's my story about session. And I asked the client's permission, of course, to share this. The, the uh, client that I have with two higher selves. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so cool. I love the work I do. It's so fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. This is Bridget. You've been watching Above Life Channel. I hope we've inspired your spirit, filled you up with some hope today. Remember the purpose of all of this is to remind you that this is your life. It's yours and it's your job to live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.